So if we get started, the first thing that we really look at is actually, you know, what are the problems we bump into? And we can look at this scenario. You have someone turns up for an interview, she looks good, you know, she presents herself really well, she's professional, got a great resume, and so you decide to hire this girl, and you know, you were pretty spot on. A little while later you see that she's actually producing really well and adding good value to the organisation. Then this guy turns up for an interview sometime later, and you're really excited about this guy. You know, looks great, sounds fantastic, it's like you even offer this guy more money than you're willing to pay because you want him to come and work for you. And you know, you run around and you tell everyone about this new guy starting, he's really going to you know, boost the company a lot, but he works for quite some time and you realise that actually he produces nothing. And then this girl comes along, <laughs> she looks pretty horrible, but you know, you're desperate and you need to fill the position so you put her on. You keep a close eye on her and you realise a few weeks later you were right. She's actually not so good. And so you move her on. And then again, you're pretty desperate. This guy turns up, <coughs> sits in the interview, you know, says all the wrong things. You ask him, do you like working hard? And he says, no. <laughs> and anyway, it's like after some time you realise he's actually one of your best producers. This guy adds the most value out of anyone in your organisation. And so you look at this picture and you start to realise there's probably a little bit more to know about people. And out of these two, what we want to be able to do, or these four, <coughs> is we want to be able to keep our hiring in this area. We only really want these people in our organisation. There's no point having people in the organisation that can't actually add value. And out of these two here, this guy here, he's much more cost effective because he turns up and um, you put him on sort of out of desperation and so you're not fighting over this guy to hire him. Whereas this girl, it's like she may get a lot of job offers. And so you know, you've got to do a lot of negotiating and wheeling and dealing to try and get her to work for you. And so the chances are you can get this guy here a lot cheaper in your organisation so it becomes just as important to identify the guys that don't look so good but that are good as it is also to you know, watch out for the guys that aren't so good. And I don't say this so you can, you know, just not pay as much wages, but it gives you a lot more room to reward this guy for doing a good work, whereas normally, you know, she's already on a pretty top salary and it's hard to give her as much more room to pay her more. And the most dangerous person in this here is a guy up here. Because he could come in the interview, you know, he's good enough to trick us and tell us all the good things you can do, and sometimes it can take many years to discover that this person is not doing so well. And even in the early days if they're not doing so well, because you're confident that they're actually very competent, you know, you'll spend a lot of time and effort trying to help them and you know, give them more resources and so they can start costing you a lot of time and get your organisation a lot of money. And so these guys here, they actually not only don't produce much, but generally what they do is they actually take value out of the organisation and cost the organisation money. So it's important to be able to identify these people.